but she backed out. Wasn't she nearly Oom? Where'd all this mana come from? So much for mages having mana issues. No, I think I'm, I'm honestly considering Spectre's Cobble here. Just because, like... I kind of don't exactly have options. There's no items, there's nothing I can build, there's nothing I can do that will combine into me winning. So I think Spectre's Cowl and just trying to survive with second win Spectre's Cowl, Doran Shield, I think that's the only play available to me. Yeah. Yeah, I should just run her down, Twitch chat. Just, uh, just run her down. Yeah. Wouldn't Adaptive Helm help? Shit, why didn't I think of just first backing the Adaptive Helm? You're a genius. Um, the thing about Spectre's Cowl is it means that when I get hit by her shit and run away, um, I might possibly and maybe have enough health left that she can't hit one Q and kill me then. Ah! Dumbass. Honestly, that's why I've kind of thought to myself, maybe the best play is to just play Darius every game. Because, like, honestly? Honestly? People are so bad that maybe I just climb with Darius and then play Aatrox and people are better at the game. Merc's Rush? Well, I'm against Cass, and they have Twisted Fate, so... Seems like a solid idea to me. Again, my literal plan, my, my the exact thing I said was, I think the best thing I can do here is throw my lane and build very stupidly so that my team can possibly pull this out.
Makes sense. Makes sense. You could have phase in Sheen by now. Do you believe that if I went phase in Sheen, I would survive Cass? Did you not notice that before I backed and went Spectre's Cowl, that Q and two E's did half my health bar? That means my life expectancy against Cassiopeia was about two seconds. E, 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 E. Add in a Q, I'm dead. Now, maybe she wouldn't have had, you know, Conquer and shit sacked up, but either, either way, let's say, fine, she needs six Qs to kill me. Eight Qs. Let's say eight. Four second life expectancy. Do you think... Do, do you think I win that one? Can Miasma please last, like, half its current turn? Like, it's still fucking up. That's crazy. Why is this cast wasting Q late, or sorry, W like crazy? I mean, he's not very good at the game. I mean, obviously he died to a Darius in lane, you know? Fucking racist turret, dude. Cass just needs to find Nerve City. Cass could find Nerve City, I think it'd be fine. Again, the problem is they balance champions like Cassiopeia on whether or not they can lane against range. And, uh... It really fucks with the game. Because, sure, she keeps getting buffed because she can't lane against range. But, meanwhile, the reason her win rate is the way it is is because she gets butt blasted by range. But, hey, at least, thankfully, she can beat melee, right? But then Riot's like, oh, all she can do is beat melee. But everyone does that. We should buff her. Huh? What could the cast have done to not be bad at the game? So, like, when I all in her, she could have tried to hit an ability or not been in a position that she could have died to a Darius ghost play. Or how about using Miasma and walking away? It's not like I can walk through Miasma if I do that. I mean, I'm going to take a Q and I'm going to take E's and I'm going to be dead. One v one. Yeah, I mean, and that's the problem of uh, Cass is that uh, you lose to her in lane. But also, if you go even with her, she outscales you really fucking hard and kills your entire team. So, like, you can't... You can't let her lane, but you can't stop her from laning. Which puts melee champions in a very... bad situation. 
where I need to beat Cass, but I can't beat Cass. So now what? You know? So now what? I think Rise is a little bit better because Rise, n like, when they nerfed Rise's Q damage by 15, it actually toned down his, well, damage a lot, shockingly. Shockingly, nerfing his main spammable damage source was pretty good for toning down his early game. On the other hand, with Cassiopeia, Riot hasn't done anything about her yet. They were like, oh, we think it's Conqueror making her OP. And it's like, yeah, sure, Conqueror is an option, but what about Phase Rush? And Riot's like, well, no, we're going to nerf Riot, Rise because uh, Phase Rush is an option on him, so we want to nerf him anyway. And I'm like, but it's an option on Cassiopeia. And they're like, no. And I'm like, yeah. They're like, no. Like, yeah? Just, no. No, it's not. Trust us. So she's already got Conqueror stacked up. Ah. Dude ulted quickly. <laughs> Did she really die? To what? Yes, coordinated team play can beat any champion, yes. That doesn't mean that there's no balance issues. Shit, coordinated team play could beat Cassidy in season three. Doesn't mean he's balanced, does it? Oh, right, should I get autofilled top? Will Shen be good as a safe pick or no? Hmm. Interesting question. Interesting question. Probably not. No tank is good as a first pick. Here's a problem. There's too many mages who heal not based on damage dealt, but heal just because fuck it. There's Cass, and there's Vladimir, and Riot is too stupid too intellectually incapacitated, too biased, too moronic, too, well, just stupid. They're stupid people. They are dumb. And they don't realize that when you give a